Good evening, everyone. Um, today, I'm going to talk about co-fumigation of phosphine with uh, another recently introduced fumigant, sulfuryl fluoride, to manage uh, phosphine resistance to an insect pest. Um, first, why we need to go for co-fumigation? We know that phosphine resistance is an, um, is an ongoing issue. If you look at individually, both the fumigants are actually have positive as well as negative attributes. Uh, for example, phosphine is cheap and easy to use, um, but resistance is an issue. With respect to SF, sulfur fluoride, it's expensive, and it has increasing, um, eggs have a, a increasing tolerance to this fumigant, so we need more dose. Um, so industry is looking for uh, new control options. So we want to explore uh, by combining these two. Um, and we do find, we do um, hypothetically thought that they have uh, complementary properties with each other. For example, phosphine can take care of eggs and SF can take care of rest of the life stages. We can reduce residue level by reducing the dosage of uh, SF as well as phosphine. Um, so first we did a theoretical uh, sort of, uh, sort of a proof of concept study with adults only for short time period. And the results clearly showed that they mutually enhance each other, particularly SF as enhanced the toxicity of phosphine additively. Then we got, uh, went back to the industry uh, with their operational logistics. So we, we want to actually play with the registered uh, rate for phosphine as well as the registered rate with the SF. And we just want to actually develop protocols that can be actually um, used uh, at industry level. Um, so we have come up with a lot of different doses, um, and we can clearly see here that even at um, point five, half a dose of phosphine with one fourth dose of SF achieving 100% mortality with uh, the most challenging and strongly resistant cryptolysis, uh, uh, rusty grain beetle cryptolysis for the uh, Currently, we are validating this effective regime across other species as well. And also, we know the practical limitation of uh, mixing these two, two gases and applying at the field. So we are thinking about delivering this combination in sequential fashion as well. Um, I forgot to mention, both the individual treatments with the study has failed to achieve complete mortality. Um, so that's the conclusion. Thank you.